Hi, I'm Gaurav Sharma, your mentor for the physical design course. With expertise in this field, I'm dedicated to guiding you on your journey to becoming a skilled physical designer. Let's unlock your potential and explore the fascinating world of physical design together. Let's start with the course flow. It, uh, these two topics on over the weekdays, one, one hour, one and a half hour from 7.30 to 9 or 7.30 to 8, but it depends on how you guys are taking the classes. Uh, this basically will be taken. So, and other than that, after that, uh, I will start with the synthesis first. And here, like all the synthesis topics that I'm going to, we are going to talk now on these topics. And then we will move to first STA part. So STA, why STA part is, I generally feel that if you have basic knowledge and a better understanding of this ST or the timing, right, you will be able to understand the many more optimization techniques during the, uh, the during the placement, during the CTS. These topics will help you, right? So, firstly, we will cover the synthesis in the entire session and then we'll go to the timing, right? That was the thing I was thinking, like, in that way, we should move ahead. So, many optimization techniques we will learn here, but those optimization techniques will be mostly from the RTL point of view. Now, from the timing point of view, also we will discuss here. Number of power point of view, also we will discuss. Number of optimization techniques it will be there, right? Everything we will discuss. But going forward, here at these stages, right? At these stages, you need to understand the basics of timing. You need to understand how the timing is working, right? So these three, you need to understand the timing. So if you understand before the what is the state uh, STA, what is the static time analysis, and how do you perform that, right? What are the different parts of that? How to analyze those parts? How to debug that? How to if you debug that part, particularly really if you know how to debug that part, and you come out with the that debugging process, right? You will get the solution for that part, and it will really help in these three topics. Three topics. And this floor planning is fully the physical uh, cells, physical power rails, you know, uh, the macro port placements, so all the physical informations it will be there. So floor plan, it, here we won't be doing any timing or anything here, right? Maybe just before importing the design, we do that, but not here, on not in between the stages, right? Maybe the sanity checks for the placement that we will do, but not here, right? Clear for everyone? Uh, it is clear for you, Grace. Yes, okay, so, Pooja, this is your first class. Feel free to ask. Like, there is nothing called a uh, you know a small doubt or big doubt or you know this is what kind of doubt. There is nothing called as that. Ask me if you are not understanding. Ha, but go with me. Whatever the line, the word I say, uh, at least try to understand that line. Okay. Everyone. Sure. For everyone. Okay. So now I will start with this one. Over the weekdays, you will be going through these two topics. These two topics are also same as important as what you will be learning in synthesis or physical design or timing, anything, right? So don't forget to, you know, any topics or commands if Anvo is taking, right? Uh, be with him. Uh, Along with that, you go ahead, try to implement some parts on your cell scripting, uh, try to write that, uh, try to again uh, remind, recall that part, hey, how Anu was telling me, right? So that will help you, that will help you in day by day. Your confidence will get boosted. up, this is what I can say, right? So this, uh, so this you can get it from, like, you know, very basic things are there, right? So basic electronic basic gets, this you can get it from the, Many, uh, you know, um, are different, different, um, uh, what we have from uh, YouTube, we can get it, right? Or uh, the many uh, gate level, of the gate exams are there, right? From the gate exams, you can get many questions and see that how things are happening there. These two, I will cover it today, okay? These two, mostly I will, and uh, this we will cover it later. Fine. So now, cousins here, right? Topic wise, this is how we will go ahead with. Clear guys for the topic wise. Clear for everyone. Yes. Yeah. And be interactive. Just uh, talk to me. Uh, okay. Um. So now coming to the ASIC flow. So first ASIC. What is the meaning of this ASIC? Anybody? Applications. Application integrated circuit, sir. 
you know, application specific integrated circuit. Understand the meaning. Whoever has kept the name right, application for some application we are going to have application specific. That for some specific applications we are going to create one IC that is called integrated circuit. That is called ASIC, right? So that ASIC is particularly have the. Uh, what are the different stages in the in the ASIC flow, and how if we are starting with some goals that today you must have seen how the phone is there. Imagine in two thousand how phone was there. Have, you guys have seen any uh, phone uh, phone in terms of not the DSL phone, right? The mobile phone I'm talking about. Have you seen how it was looking during that time in two thousand? Anybody is having any idea? Anybody have seen that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, the snake click we used to play that in the Nokia, right? If you remember, our very in the childhood days. <laughs> so in two thousand two thousand five, I think two thousand six and eight till two thousand six eight, we were having the similar phones, right? <clears throat> no smartphone, nothing was there, right? And in a very few people were having those smartphones, right? They started with them. That was also similar to the Nokia phone, only, right? Imagine during that time, what was the Goal they started with. What was their goal? This is this is a story. This is not VLSI. So let's understand this part as well before digging into the VLSI, so that we will understand exactly what is going on in the industry right now. What happened earlier and what will happen later, right? So now design specification. This was the first thing that if you are going to do anything. In your like, you know, uh, if you have some goal for any particular design that you have to execute, and you have to get the semiconductor chip, then you have to write your power performance area that is called as PPA, right? So it will be writing as this will be this design specification will be writing as this is the area that I am going to utilize, at. and for this my frequency will be one gigahertz or two gigahertz. Five gigahertz or seven gigahertz, like that, we will be starting it, right? And now, after this, once we have decided, this is the area I will be taking. Imagine if you are using a cell phone, and your area will be you now, right now, whatever the laptop you are using, that area, if it will be going, whether that will be called as a cell phone. Understand that part, right? So for your cell phone, there will be a different area for your laptop. For your laptop, so like this is your cell phone, right? So this is your cell phone, like this it will come. For your laptop, it will be a different area. For your TV, it will be a different area, right? For your whatever the um, smartwatch, it is a different area, right? So for different different appliances, whatever you are going to use from the semiconductor design, they will be having the different area. Correct. Right? In automobile industry nowadays, you must be hearing the automobile industry. This company has moved into the automobile as well, right? In automobile industry, that will they will be having different kind of chip, right? So they are basically planning some goals here in design specifications. So they have different area. That is one part. They have different power. What is the power consumption for your phone? If you will use the phone for twenty four hours, maybe. I know twelve hours, maybe fourteen hours or sixteen hours. What do you see? From hundred percent, it comes down to ten percent, fifteen percent, like that, right? Right? With the battery, whatever you are using. So how how that is happening? Understand. Be curious about these things. Now, second part. You switch off your phone at hundred percent. After seven days, do this experiment. You will understand the meaning. After seven days, whenever you are switching on the phone, your cell phone, it will come down to ninety-four percent, ninety-two percent. What happened to that six percent or eight percent of that power? What happened? The phone was switched off, right, for seven days. What happened? Think of it. We will discuss these things also in between. So think of it. What happened to that? So that power also we have to do in a way. We have to plan in a way so that your requirement, whatever you have kept it here in the design specification, you will be meeting here, right? Now, coming to the performance, so many cell phone you have seen nowadays are now five G. Know it, right? You have that, right? So, what happens? 
many phones are 3G only, many phones are 4G only, right? So now, whenever your phone hardware is only designed for 3G, have you seen that whenever you are going and applying for 5G, whether it is working, that 5G is working for you? No, it won't work, right? Because your device is not that capable of taking the 5G, correct? So similar way what happens, frequency wise we need to match that. So area, power and the performance, these three things, these three things will be designed, it will be here in the designer specifications. Okay, first these three things. Now, other than design specification, if I'm having some company and I'm starting like this, I need to plan in a way that different stages of the asset flow are how much time it will take to execute and come up in the chip, this particular chip, right? So that time also we have to target here, right? This is clear. First thing was what? PPA. That is clear for everyone. Any doubt in that? Okay. Yes, sir. No, sir. Clear. Yes. Any doubt, anybody? Now, second thing is timing. Understand. Now, sometimes this guy will take, this stage will take some time, this stage will take some time, this stage will take some time. Similarly, for this stage, this stage, this stage, all the stages takes time, right? In one night, if you understand that your this will be done, this will be done, this that is not possible, right? So we have to target some time, like in two years, in two and a half years, in three years, in three and a half years, or maybe in four years. Starting from here, right? That might take some time, correct? Agree with that. So now coming from here to here, some time it will take. So second part is the time they have to analyze. Why time? Because understand, you have your competition in the market. How competition in the market? Some Many people are create having the CPU things. Intel is having CPU, AMD is having CPU. So many people are having CPUs, right? So if sometimes one of the uh, company A is not able to, company A is planning for this particular time for 2024. And some, some of their competitors get to know and they started early from them and then they executed and they created this CPU in 2023 only and they kept into the market, right? Then now whenever this guy is coming, right? People have already started utilizing this CPU. Then what will happen? They will be in the loss, right? So that also they have to plan. So time is the another planning that they have to do. The, where all the executions will happen. Clear? Any doubt on time? This is just a story I'm telling you guys so that you guys will be confident and I can take you from the root level to the top level. I don't want to just take you from in between, hey, this is physical design, this is synthesis and let's, let's start from here. No, I want to give you a brief picture of how industry works, what happens, how things come out and the way people execute it, right? Now, one is power performance area, second is time. Time to the it is coming to the market that also matters. Imagine some processor from the one of the cell, uh, mm, whatever the cell phone processor is there, right? Uh, Mini Snapdragon is there from MediaTek. Some processor is there. If sometimes what happens, the company A produces before company B, so they will get a better picture in the market, right? So they will be more profitable than company B. Both company have same time, same money they have put into that particular design to be completed. But still, some company, company B will be, has come to the market late. That is where they are earning their profit is less. That's why you will see quarter three result of this company is this much. Now it has uh, rise to this much. But because of this one, this uh, uh, this company A, uh, it would have... Uh, uh, it, would, it would have gone till 50, 55%, it has now come down to 35%, like that, it, you must be hearing the news, right? Then you will see their stock price also get down by 5%. That is the real story of the market, right? So now what happens? <clears throat> Second thing is time. Third thing is money. Like every stage is, you imagine, if someone is hiring you for physical design here, right? Someone has hired you. They are paying you something, right? Similarly, you understand they are paying to the whole hierarchy. 
from the VP level, from the you know HR side, from the finance side, everyone they are paying for you guys, right? Now they are putting money at each and every stage: architecture, architectural design, synthesis, physical design, verification, sign of application, everywhere, right? Fabrication, if they are sending it to TSMC or it is going to the global foundry or Samsung or until any foundry it is going to, they are also charging the huge amount of money in billions, right? So now understand, they have to plan their money as well. Clear? Yes. Yes, sir. So design specifications will be having every planning that how this project, the design will go through, what are the things it is there, uh, all calculations it will come here. And generally, top employees like maybe VP level, senior VP level, or CEO level, CTO level, uh, you know, uh, those kind of levels, those from those levels, these things are being decided. Your sales point of view, everything, right? And then finally, the project starts. So from once we have this design specifications, the spec file, then the project starts from here. Now tell me, anybody is having any doubt here in design specification? Tell me. I'm open to you. Then we go to update it. Let's understand one by one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I will start with Pooja, you are the Go ahead, tell me. No, sir, it's clear for me. Clear for me, right? If someone yes. asks what design specification contains, first first you will start with PPA and then uh, time and then the money, right? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, what about you, Lalit? Yes, sir, clear, sir. Because these things we have already discussed yesterday. So that is where I am asking you guys only. Because uh, if you will ask Saurav, Rupes, and uh, Tejaswini, um, um, Rakesh and Naveen, these guys have already gone through this, right? So I'm asking you guys. So now, yes, sir. Clear. Yes, it is clear, right? Yes, sir. Jatavir. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. So clear, right? Okay. Don't sleep anyone. Uh, <laughs> okay. So now, second thing, architecture. Once your design starts, right? What is the next stage? Uh, that once your design specifications are ready. What is the next state that, state that it is going to happen? So first thing is architecture. Now we have the, what we have to do. We have the target, we have the goal. Imagine if you have the goal that you have to plan a house, you have to build a house, right? You have some goal. I will take again this example, this I really like this example. So if you are planning to build a house, right? You have been given this much of area. This much of some power numbers, some timing numbers like that it has been given. Now what architecture guys will do? Imagine whenever you have particular real estate. Now understand here. Whenever you plan to purchase a land and you have this land, this particular land on your name. Now you are planning to build a house here. Right? What happens? You call some civil engineer and you tell them that hey architect my house. What are the things? where it should be there, that my house will look perfectly optimized, perfectly well, right, right, we do that, right, so now, yes. when the civil engineer will come, he will say that, sir, instead of middle of the, whatever this area you are going to have, firstly, he will start with the input and output, input and output means, from where you will take the entry, where from where you will take the exit, Similar way it happens in VLSI also. All the ports, whatever on the SOC level it has been defined, that has also gone the input and output. From where the signals will come, there it is signals. Here it is, it is us that we will be enter into the our house. Okay. So now what happens? Uh, if your civil engineer will say, if you are planning to enter from here, right? Uh, if you might lose some space in between. So plan in a way. You enter from here, like that it will say. You enter from one side. So that you will utilize this entire particular area for your house like this. Like this it will say. That for this entire area, it will be for your house. And this area you can utilize it for your car park. Like that it will say. And then this area you can utilize it for your, utilize it, it for some gardening if you want to do this area, if you want to plant something, right? 
if you want to plant some plants, right? So these areas you can utilize it. So similar areas gives us gives us an idea what to start with, right? Then those civil engineers tells us this is the optimistic way for your particular land, and then you can have from here it is entry, and then this particular area this thing will be there, this particular area this thing will be there, this particular area this thing will be there. Similarly, what is this thing in the VLSI? So in VLSI, this might be your CPU. This might be your CPU. Okay. Same way, this might be CPU, this might be your GPU, right? In a subsystem, in an SOC, there are so many models right there. This might be your camera, right? This might be another, uh, you know, unit um, he might have suggested that might be your video, right? So there are so many subsystems you will find in one SOC. Like in your phone, at a time your camera is working, your audio is working, your video is working, your processor is working, your GPU is working, your modem is working, your USB is working. Your everything is working, right? Right? Imagine if your camera will not work, if whatever this I have designed, this camera will not work, how it will look? Will you be able to purchase that particular phone? Right? Will you be able to? No, right? So what happens? We need to have everything in a place. Everything in place. And then only we get the SOC and then this SOC goes into a phone and then accordingly we execute whatever we get as a user interface that we get and then we take utilize that particular product right similar way the way we were utilizing this particular house now similar way we are utilizing that particular cell phone similar way we are utilizing that particular smartwatch or laptop or telephone uh, television right the tv or so many appliances we have nowadays in the digital appliances right so all these digital appliances are having these semiconductor chips and they have different goals, they have been set to the different goals and now they have been executed and they have been implemented to some designs, ASIC designs and now we are the end using that particular end product. Okay. So this is where it happens. Now architecture guys does this thing. They basically plan the things what area your CPU, CPU will take, what area your GPU will take, don't go with the distance what I have taken that CPU will be this much big and GPU will be this much small. No, it's not like that. I'm just giving you an example. Camera will be here, uh, you know, uh, for the best optimistic purpose. Uh, uh, if your video will be here, best optimistic purpose. Your audio will be here for your best optimistic purpose. Like that it will be different. So that particular job is from the architecture side. That architecture, these people does the jobs. Right? Clear for everyone what architecture does? Yes. Yes, sir. Right? Now, once this architecture guy is able to complete this architecture, then it goes to the RTL design. Now, it has to write in a way, it has to write in a code, RTL is the resistor transfer level. Let me tell you first. This is the resistor transfer level, and how it works is basically this uh, whatever the logics that how the CPU work on what logic that particular CPU will work on what logic this particular camera will work or on what logic this particular GPU will work. Those logics will be written here in the RTL device. So we are not digging much into the RTL design. We will start from the synthesis part. So understand this RTL design. Here in this RTL design, model, model A, B, whatever it is there, right? From there, model CPU will be there and how many inputs and outputs are there in the CPU. Like how, from where it is interacting. It is interacting from the video. It is interacting from the audio. Or it is interacting from the camera. It is interacting from the GPU. How many times it is interacting? Those are called as internal ports. For each and every subsystem, we have these many internal ports, right? So that is called as this that will be defined in the RTL side, right? And now the logics will be defined here. If this happens, if video is on, right? It will if someone is giving a signal to video, right? Video, what will happen? This video will send one signal to CPU that switch it on, switch it, switch it on my my system. Then CPU will switch it on this video. And now once video is on, right? 
it has to wait from where it has to on it has to go to that signal to the camera now camera will come camera will get switched on now it will switch on the camera now again it will ask for which front camera or the rear camera rear or front front is uh, the, for the selfie you want to take something or like you know for the photos you want to take something right so which one you have to take that you will take it so then it will send that signal to the see this is how all the system works this is a simple example that i have given you but this is how on the basic level if you will ask me this is how it works and now when this camera will be on this camera will take the inputs from the selfie side or it will take the you know it will start taking the pictures right the video and that will be again sent back to the video then it will see that okay this is happening then it will send it to the cpu now from the cpu side it will go to some of the memories where it will store in that particular internal memories and now once it will be in memory it will be coming in your gallery understand this is how soc works i have just taken a simple example if you will ask me whenever i look at my cell phone right i, I will be curious like hey how what are the signals it has must have gone there and how it is coming out understand this example is clear for you guys how it works this was just a story yes sir clear right this is how all the soc architecture has been defined and then rtl has been built in right now till the time you have this rtl rtl is done now till here you don't care if you are in synthesis and the physical design yes you care when where and when and how you do how do you care right that i will tell you but right now you don't care how they have written it so now coming to the from rtl to the next part is the synthesis part after the rtl design happens right here rtl verification also happens so everything i have written here in the rtl design itself so they will verify their rtl code whether whatever the logic that i had discussed with you that if i want to switch on the video from video it will send the signal to cpu that hey come on now you have to switch it on uh, the this entire system and you have to take processing the data from here so till now till rtl be understood right what are the things it is there now once this rtl is done right once we are done with this rtl we come to the now our thing it comes into the picture like what all things we need to consider here right so now going to the once we are have we have this rtl is to transfer level once we have this rtl right we take those logics and we try to convert that logic into the circuit so the conversion of that rtl into a circuit that process the entire process is called as synthesis so at synthesis stage what we do is we generally take those logics we generally take those rtls and from the rtl side what we do is we take that rtl and with the different stages of the synthesis with the different inputs other than rtl we try to create we try to convert this rtl into a circuit level till now what was it it was not a digital electronics right yes it was but it was not fully the circuit level so now once we have this rtl right the entire rtl has been written now we know that this is the rtl these are the things it is there right and these rtls are there now we have to convert this rtl rtl into a different different logics like and gate or gate like this the structure will come into the picture inverter like this the or gate will come uh, you know a uh, uh, different or gate will come here then it will go to some flop right again it will start with some flop and that flop will start with some input this will go to some output port like this structure it was not there till the rtl agree with me on this point yes sir yes sir so till rtl we did not had anything now coming to the synthesis whenever we come to the synthesis we have all these structures now so that process the entire process have the synthesis has different stages that we need to understand different optimization strategies that we need to understand and now if you remember we started with some target here 
what target TPA power performance TPA. Day, right time they are concerned that hey by this time you need to release your net list you need to come out with the part that your synthesis will be completed these guys you must have heard that tip out time this is my tip out time I need to complete the project by this time you must have heard all these things right so that is where time constraint is there but TPA who need to achieve it we have to achieve it as an engineer as an engineer you have to achieve it right so that synthesis whatever the circuit you have created whether that particular circuit is meeting with these guys specification in terms of power in terms of performance in terms of area or not that we have to see from here right if it is not, then we have number of optimization that we have to do, number of flow plans that we have to do. We have different quality checks that we need to do. If we are good with that, then we will proceed to the physical design. If we are not, then we will revert back and we will send it the signal to our RTL guys. Hey, uh, the logics you have written and the area I have got is is not matching. That means my cell density is high here. We will discuss all this cell density, pin density, congestion, timing, everything, what is stages, how we deal right? everything, what to look for, everything we will discuss. But for now, you understand, if those quality checks are not meeting here, we will go back to the RTL guys. And if RTL guys see that they also cannot optimize this, they will again go back to the architecture guys. And if architecture guys can do something, then they will send it to the RTL guys, the revised one. But if they also cannot do anything, they will go and say that, all this is not going to happen, right? So this is how the entire flow works. Everyone is dependent on each other, right? Now synthesis guys, synthesis guys, how it comes? If they are good with the circuit, right? Many times even though they are not good and they are two different teams. Okay, let me tell you, uh, many places in the industry, uh, if you are a physical design engineer, then your role start from here. You will get the RTL, you have to tape out this till GDS. Many places in the industry, your role start here. You will get the netlist and from here you have to tape out the design. Right? So this is how. Even though if you want to be expert, then the sign of area in some particular area, those domains are also open. If you want in verification, physical verification, those domains are also open for you. Right? But if you are a physical design engineer, you have to do everything from here to here on the block level, on the partition level, or maybe on the subsystem level also. And if some company you have joined where it is starting from synthesis, so you will have starting from synthesis, physical design verification sign up. So in my career, most of the time I have worked from here. Synthesis, physical design, verification, and the sign up. Most of the time, majority of my time. I have spent on this thing and I have spent on synopsis side as, as well as cadence side. So we will discuss what are the tools from cadence, what are the uh, tools from the synopsis and then we will understand that what those tools does, what are their behaviors that also we will study. Okay. So now once this is called whenever we start from here to here that is called RTL to GDS flow. Your input is RTL and from there you are starting doing the synthesis, write it down if you want. Synthesis, physical design, verification, sign of everything till GDS. So this flow will be called as RTL to GDS. If you are starting your design from netlist, netlist, physical design, verification, sign of, then you it will be called as netlist to GDS. Clear? I just prefer Anyone will ask you, hey, uh, you will find in many job description, uh, you will see that it will be written as RTL to GDS. Right? You will understand, hey, uh, this is for RTL or something or what. No, they are writing it for many people get confused. When Junior called me and he, he was telling like, uh, it is writing as flow plan placement, but in the uh, description it has given as RTL to synthesis. Do I need to write RTL as well? So that confusion you should not be there. So you should apply whenever it is RTL to GDS. RTL means RTL to GDS means you will be starting from synthesis, physical design, verification and the sign off. Now, if it is netlist to GDS, then it is physical design, verification, sign off. Clear for everyone? No doubt in this one? 
ये जीत सकती है क्लियर so if someone is saying that hey this is rtl to gds or this is netlist to gds you need to come out with the way that this is if it is rtl to gds that means it will include synthesis as well that will be the extra thing that you will have to work on and it's good to learn synthesis right and some places what happens whenever the companies they are having netlist to gds they have different team for synthesis the entire different team for synthesis and stl they will be having clear yes sir okay now now coming to the physical design here so what happens is once you get the netlist here with netlist and different inputs you start the physical design so in physical design what do you do all the stages that we will discuss here and then we will try to implement that till routing and then we will take for the verification physical verification in physical verification what we do we do all the drc lbs we check whether uh, you know whatever the uh, nanometer technology that we are having according to that foundry has given you some rules for that implementation whether you are able to follow that particular rule or not that we need to verify it so that we are verifying here at this stage and then we have sign off like different timing power uh, you know um, emi power is that emi are everything that we discussed timing the sta that we will discuss the eco cycles we will have right based on these timing powers lec if you have right uh, that we will do vclp if you have that that we will do there are number of things lec why lec logical equivalence check we will discuss later but just to give you a brief lec start with whenever you have taken the rtl and you have come to this stage so many implementation has happened right whether the same rtl you are taking here also or not right same rtl or you have got the netlist from this netlist to this netlist there should not be any non equivalent points that we have to see so those will be coming in the lec point right clear Yes, sir. Now, once we are done yes, with everything, and we give a green signal that our implementation is completed, it goes for a fabrication. Fabrication, it goes to TSMC, it will go to Intel, it will go to Global Foundry or Samsung. They will fabricate the chip and they will send it back to that particular company. And then this company will utilize. It will go for some post verification of the chip. That is also another domain. And then that after that post verification, it goes to market. then it goes to end user right you must have seen that uh, made in india so there it must be like uh, assembly has happened in india fabrication has happened here did you see any time on any of the appliances any of the devices uh, sir actually as per my knowledge isra has its own uh, assembly in uh, uh, mohali i guess assembly right yeah i mean so the same uh, fabrication unit Uh, they use it specifically for uh, research itself that's in mohali apart from mm-hmm. that uh, uh, recently it has been started since there was uh, foxconn has been uh, ready to invest and uh, to for 180 nanometer for automobile parts i guess yeah it might be but mohali how come they need so much of water right there actually i have read somewhere sir uh, means uh, from a known uh, thing that the uh, intel uh, sorry uh, isro uh, manufactures its own uh, ics and all from there only uh, when they, i think uh, my colleagues also it was there and they were you know uh, doing the uh, they also had one uh, so that room is called as uh, you know uh, whatever the fabrication stages are there right that room is called as this much uh, like a single dust that calculation they do what is that cleaning of that particular room is called as some some Measurement unit is there for that particular room, and they fabricate. So in my college also they do that, uh, but 
at what level, how they do, right? That so they don't do the mass production. I I feel if they are doing the mass production, it need so much of water. That's why you will see TSMC Taiwan where it is. All surroundings, almost eighty percent of surroundings from the water itself, right? South Korea, Samsung. You will see most of the part of the South Korea is surrounded from the sea water only, right? And Intel, Intel fabricates uh, uh, at the place where the whole entire structure is surrounded by the water, the sea, right? So similar way, we need. That's what uh, if you must have heard of Vedanta and they are planning for something in Gujarat or. In you know southern region, why the reason is uh, only thing is the water, right? For the fabrication. Yes, so these are the things that we can discuss any time. So <clears throat> good. So now you understood the entire structure. Anybody is having any doubt? Want to discuss? Let's go. Five minutes. My voice is not audible. Who is talking? Yeah, just a bit. It's very low, very low voice. Uh, what about now, sir? Ah, uh, come again. What about? Hello. Okay. Hello. Is it audible now, sir? The audible, but uh, yeah, tell me. Ah, uh, sir, actually, I have doubts, sir. Sir, uh, like uh, actually, they ah uh, like they don't fabricate like a mass at one side, sir. So usually there is something called a press check. If I'm not wrong, sir. Uh, come again. Uh, what is called as? Uh, there is is there something called as test chips? Sir, they only uh, manufacture some chips uh, to test, right? Okay, okay. That's what I was telling you. The post verification and everything happens, and once that post verification, that testing happens here, right? You will you must have seen the post validation uh, teams are present in the all the companies. So those post validation teams definitely do they go and validate that particular chip, and then they go for the mass production. Usually, if they will go for mass production and they will find some issues in their chip, they have just wasted their money, right? So they won't do that. No one does that. Ha! Huh. So, yeah. Now, what you were talking about the test chip? Test chip is a different concept. What test chip does is, I'm planning to start some CPU in, in my company. So how I will start? I will start with the simply. I will start. I will go ahead and I will have a test chip here. So for this chip, we will see that where we are able to meet the entire structure or not, and we are able to fabricate or not. They might go for five hundred chips or like you know thousand chips only here at the end. You can mute yourself for a bit. Okay. So what they do is just let me know, or like if it is not uh, understanding. So chip, these chips are the chips where if you will find many companies, they go through these processes, right? And the post validation is the after the chip. Once the chips comes out from the tape, or they take out some hundred, two hundred, five hundred chips, and they do go for the post validation. That is called this chip, right? So this is what it happens, right? And now whenever this this chip happens, they also try to see that whether I will be able to go into the market or not. From the design point of view, from the you know uh, from how they have taken it. So they will be able to whatever the specification they have taken with that specification, are they able to come into the market or not? That they will look for. That is a test chip, and this is called as post validation. Clear for this one? You will see many companies they are looking for post validation guys as well. Okay. Okay. Five minute break. Take water. Come back. Uh, if you have any doubt, again you can ask me. Eleven uh, ten, we will meet here. Eleven ten, and then uh, I will start with the next slide. That is, this is flow. Okay, uh, sir. Uh, sir, actually, uh, I had one more doubt, sir. So, what if at the testing, if a chip fails, sir, does it go back to the design, or does it go to, go back to some different yeah. stages, sir? That we have to deal with. Like whoever is there, right? What post you post validation? They found some hole violation here. I will tell you one example. This I have seen live in my career. That one entire uh, sub system, like some audio or some modem, was there. Some sub system was there, or maybe some one. They that uh, particular sub system. I don't remember the name exactly. That particular had hole violations. 
okay and they found it after this after this also they were able to find they were fine and they were not able to catch it on the sign up this was a very back long back story i almost started the career in from there it was in 13 13 or 13 or 13 so they uh, i then they had to go back and see at which stage so they came back to the sign of the stage because they found that this is a whole violation and because of that chip is not good and then they again had to execute that particular unit and then they went for the fabrication so they that went in a loop loop in the terms of two to three times this happened like so many things so happens these are the human errors and that can that you cannot avoid it. so we need to give up if some issue is there right that we need to give up like why that particular issue is happening like this whole from where we can clean it up from the sign of the state right similarly how we can do it what what particular thing has happened some physical verification we did some mistake or my scan chain is broken right so till the time you will go you have to go back to the time till the stage is right so that you have to be work like which stage we can correct it out and then you have to go back to that particular stage okay yeah now okay sir so sir i have the uh, have a question in this uh, sir uh, you want, can it be done uh, can the ecu be done uh, uh, after sign up or during the sign up stage like uh, or should it be done before yes. because yes. no no no, no. no so i will tell you ecus are done at every stage till you go for serious whatever the sign of implementation you are getting right you have to implement physically on the database right so if you are a physical design you will be dragged till here that's what i'm telling from the very beginning that if you are a physical design netlist to gds from here to here same article to gds from here to here so you have to implement those things in your design till here so that issue will be going till your base is freeze uh many times your uh, you know once in, you know metal also we do the metal issues right so there also you will have to do so there are so many places that you will have to do so being a physical design engineer you have to be there till that till the chip goes to the fabrication okay sir got it it's a very big cycle so now we know where the synthesis lies right uh once the article is done and then we have to start the synthesis so once we say that Everyone is here. Say yes, 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 yes. Everyone is here. Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. That's it. Right. So once we have this article done, then article is a major input for our synthesis. Right. Once this article will be done, then it is coming to our synthesis part. Right. Now, along with article, we need some supporting elements in our design. Those are called as lib files. is dc file upf left tf what these left left file is dc file upf file it contains right before going to them i will let me take you around some other flow that is called as custom custom flow so custom flow how it does is we i have a ppt but let me take you to the pent why so i just want to explain on the right hand side so what happens here is few things are there uh, so asic flow you understand right now no issues with that now understand what custom flow is and why it is called as custom what is the meaning of custom any synonyms of custom anybody know hey you guys have gone through training programs don't tell, tell me all this that you don't want designing as per our need sir to a specific need we are going to design that is as it also we can do what makes manual different like uh, this custom different sir we we could have the uh, like specific uh, means uh, if we are going with the ic is there we have to have this uh, uh, flow uh, right sir but here we have this My macros and it's all all to our customized. 
macro is customized and you will get macros from you know that many DDR macros and many other macros uh, big macros you will see that you are taking it from different IP teams and they those IP teams are doing the same thing ASIC design only if I will say that you must have seen there are many companies have the IP design so they are doing the big macro design in the big macro IP design what they do is generally they follow the same steps, steps what we follow but their designs are very small and that designs comes to us as a macro correct yes sir yes IP design what does that mean like uh, custom design what does that mean Actually, I, <coughs> may I, sorry, majority of the uh, IC uh, vendors usually, uh, means IC production team usually uh, take some of the uh, macros and standard shells, uh, lend it from one of the vendors like Synopsis and all, yeah. and yeah. you customize it themselves. Means some of the uh, uh, companies uh, customize them. They hire these analog layout engineers and design engineers, and they uh, design some of the SRAMs, uh, RAMs, and uh, memories by themselves. This is why I yeah. this has a uh, custom layout and uh, that has a uh, uh, complete ASIC. Yeah. So in IP design, whenever you will see the big macros, they will be coming up from the IP designs, right? And they will be going through the same this this ASIC flow. They will be going. They also have <coughs> <coughs> sorry. They also have a specification from there. They do everything. Like memory, DDR, you must have heard of USB, right? So they are also going from here. Rambus is another company, Synopsis, KD, and so many companies are doing IP design, right? Now, whatever the standard sales you are using, from where do the standard sales will come? Or whatever the small, small macros you are doing, or you have the PLL in your design for the analog blocks in your design, for that, how we are doing it. What are the different stages that we do? So here, I will not tell you about the entire analog flow or anything. It is similar flow, but I will tell you about the custom flow. In custom flow, the very first thing what it comes is, the very first thing it comes is, uh, they also have some specification. That is also called a script file. So they are also coming with a specification. Once this specification is done, right, then they like what they are planning, like imagine I am going to plan one AND gate. So my specification says that I am going to have this AND gate in the, that I have to design. This I am going to design, this AND gate. Now, once this will be there, that in my specification and this AND should be this power, this timing, this area, right? It's everything it will be there. Now what I have to do is, we have to go and create a circuit. Circuit here, right? Now this circuit, whatever the circuit we are going to create, so for AND gate, whatever the circuit we are going to create with the MOS, right? Uh, uh, the different structure, the or like just one inverter. If it is an inverter, it will be like this, right? A simple thing. I'm not going to draw for the AND gate. So whatever it is there, right? This circuit, this place we are going to define it. Now, once we are done with this circuit, right, after this circuit, once this circuit happens, after that, these circuit people only go and validate this circuit, where, whether they are ERC, everything, timing, power, at this stage is meeting or not. So, this is a circuit, right? This is a MOSFET. Currently, we are using FinFET, right? So, these are the FinFETs. So, those are actually meeting their circuit requirement or not, that we will define. Now, once the circuit is complete, right? This circuit goes for the layout. So in the layout, what they do is they basically do the manual place, like place and route manual. I again say manual place and route for this particular circuit, and that will look somehow like you know uh, uh, the TMOS will be like this, and MOS will be like this, and then there uh, some uh, substrate will be there in this one like this. Uh, you know, and then whenever they have the different layouts that it will be connecting here and now something is connecting here outside and now 
this will be connecting here right like this they will do the layout this will be connecting here and this will be the input like that they will do this will be for VDD this will be for VSS like that the layout will happen similar I'm not the layout person right but I'm telling you what is the layout for this inverter that particular inverter let me try to use an inverter only and it will be a big circuit so I don't want to go there inverter so now layout people has done that they done the after the layout in the layout what they do once they are done with this they go for physical DRCs everything and this they actually do the same thing the LBS what we do in the asset flow and they come back here now once this will be done this layout will be done they take out all the so from here also they take out different outputs from here also they take out different outputs now taking from the circuit and the layout we go to the third stage is the one more team is there that is called the characterization team CAR team this characterization team what they do is they basically take the inputs from the layout circuit everywhere and they try to create a library that is called dot lib dot lib right and this guy will give you dot dot anybody left file left file dot left file right this guy will give you a spice netlist netlist which will be input for this one or as well as this one okay for this one as well so now we need to understand that what this lib file contain what this lib file contains but you must have got it now that this lib file whatever the layout guys this guy has created you will be having all the entire cell layout information. This is clear for you guys. Yes, sir. And now, whatever the library information it will be there, they are doing the characterization. I will uh, take you through the entire library structure. What what model they use? What are the units they take? Uh, what are the different cell lib in everything has been defined with respect to time and power. Everything that it is present here in this library file. I will take you through. What are this this macro? This is the macro lif. It will these guys will be giving. One more lif is coming that is called as take lif. Uh -huh. This is uh, take lif will be coming from the technology files and technology files. Right? Uh -huh. So these files, this these two lifs we will take and we will do the place and route physical implementation. This this library we are going to have power and the is calculation even area will be present here but that is not a characterization unit the unit is not characterizable so now tell me this is clear for you guys from where lift comes from where lift comes if yes, anybody is having doubt or anybody want to ask some extra question on this one the entire structure this is again an entire team I will tell you every company is having this team this team, this team. Cadence tools. If you, will, I will, you will ask me. It is a virtue so tool that people generally do this circuit layout, that everything. And for synopsis, I have not used synopsis tool. So for the custom layout, I have not done it. But in my college days, I have done so many experiments, so many designs on this one, so many papers on this one during my college days. So that is where I know this, where, how this thing works. Okay. Similar way for analog also you will find the circuit is being created, the layout is being created and then that layout will go to the, and the characterization also happens. I am not sure for the analog layouts characterization happens. I have not seen that so I cannot comment that part. That is a different story. But layout happens and this layout goes like the PLL, right? PLL and all it is there in your associate. So those PLLs will come there and then accordingly we take the clock signal from this PLL, right? So these analog guys will be the analog layout. So you will see in the industry there are so many. People will say that I am also in a part of physical design. But they must be doing some analog layout or standard cell layout. But they are custom layout. Team. They are not. They also have automations. The skill language is there for them. S-K-I-L-L. Skill language. But 
these guys are using this skill language and they, these guys are trying to create the circuit and the layout, right? The way we have pickle language, they have skill language. The way we have call language, they have skill language. Cell scripting both sides it is work. For them also cell will work. For us also it is cell will work. But this is how the difference is. They do most of the things manually. We do most of the things automated. Right? Because they are working on maybe uh, 50 cells, 100 cells at a time. We are working on millions or 4 millions, 5 millions instances at a time. Right? So that is where it is called as custom design, custom flow. C U S T O N. Custom flow. Custom flow or maybe analog flow also it is called as. Clear? Any everything is clear here? Before going to the directly jumping to the library, I wanted to take you guys through that flow so that you guys will not have idea that some magical team has given us this library and the lift and we are just using it. I don't want to make that part as a dark part for you guys. So that is why I explain, I usually explain this whenever the inputs comes. Okay. Any doubt, anybody want to ask anything? Go ahead. Or clear, then I will go ahead. Say clear, then I will go ahead. Yes, sir, clear. Yeah. But as you as you are telling that uh, the team is different layout is different characterization means it is a different domain also it is different domain also yes 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 different domain that is where people see in synthesis you will see right this is a different domain 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 this is also different domain this is also different domain right. Yes. If you want to be expert in physical verification, you can go and have be expert of physical verification. But if you are in physical design, you must be you should know physical verification sign of everything. Because at the block level you will be only doing. Physical verification guys will be helping you at a block level as well as they will be doing at the subsystem level as well as they will be doing it as a SOC level. Now similarly for sign of teams, timing teams and everyone. They are writing the constraint timing team. They are working with you on the tiles, on the tile level or like partition level or the block level, whatever you say in the industry. And then they are working on subsystem level. You know the subsystem, what subsystem called as, right? Nobody is having idea? What is subsystem? Okay, if I am talking any word, right, that has a meaning. If you are not understanding the meaning, you can ask me. Again, I am saying there is no question in the small question or big question. Okay? Doubt is a doubt, always. So, this is SOC. Okay, understand. This is SOC. I was talking about that this is a CPU. Okay? Now, do you understand that this is the biggest structure of the CPU will be handled by one person. How many of you agrees with that? Sorry, uh, can you please repeat what you see? This is SOC, okay? This yeah. is the entire structure is SOC. This is CPU, okay? Now tell me, the entire structure of the CPU will be handled by one person and one person will be able to do the table? No. No, 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 right? Strict no. It will be a very big design. Runtime will be now for one partition, runtime is two days or five days, or like seven days or ten days or fifteen days. The CPU runtime will be like forty days or maybe eighty days, right? Or maybe three months. Right? So to avoid that thing and to do the analysis at each and every segment of the design. We divide this into different different segments. In different different segments we divide partition one or block one or tile one, partition two, like that, and we give them the assigned nomenclature to remember their partition name. Okay. So now whenever you have been assigned with number two, one physical design guy has assigned with number two partition, he or she will be working on this number two partition. So your runtime will be less, maybe 10 days, 15 days for one turnaround time and then your uh, 
uh, timing analysis, uh, you know, uh, power analysis, every analysis will be on a small level and you will be able to execute it very well. So, this CPU will be called as subsystem level. Okay. And this will be called as a partition level. This will be called as a SOC level system on chip where system on chip, system on chip where everything is present, all subsystems are present. All the subsystems means CPU, camera, GPU, video, audio, whatever modem, USB, DDR, every unit will be present here. So that is called a subsystem. Now understand whenever you give this. You have completed your one route. One is completed one route. Everyone is completed one one route, right? Now it's a time for a subsystem level guy, for a subsystem STA guy to integrate the entire structure. Or one person will be assigned to integrate the entire structure. So that is called as physical design at the subsystem level. Okay. So that will be a huge design. So now he need not, he might have to do few a, a small PNR that he might have to do. Many places you will see that they are adjacent blocks and they don't need any PNR structure. Okay? They don't need any PNR structure. They are adjacent blocks, compact blocks like this. They don't need any PNR. Now what they do, they just assemble it and then they make make it as a flat. Flat means now it was one, two, three, four, right? Five like that. Now once they make it flat, then this one, two, three, four are now together, and it will be coming as a CPU. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear. And if it is going by one, two, three, four like that, it will be called as hierarchy. These are the words. Don't just get confused with these words. I want to take you these words and the concept behind these words. So take it. If you want to write something, go ahead, write for programmers. I'm here on. Or any doubt anybody want to ask, go ahead, ask me. Sir, so each each partition will be subsystem or how is it? No, subsystem is CPU. Each partitions will be assigned to you. Like you have been assigned to two. Uh, so there are some. Uh, Sora will be assigned to 3, right? Lalit will be assigned to 4 in that way. Gris will be assigned to 5, 5. in that way. Okay. At each component that we will call a CPU component, we will state it as subsystem, right? Sir? Okay. So these are the part of that subsystem. Okay. And once is it going? Okay. Maybe you have unmuted them. That is the reason. So uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that will be coming. So we have divided it initially to make our effort easy. The reason I told you, right? Reason is if we are doing the entire CPU at work with the one person, it might take more time. It might take more uh, the analysis, whatever we will do. That might not be a good analysis, right? It might take some more effort for us as well. Clear? Okay? Then now what we do is we basically take that, we divide it, we design it. And we again send it back to integrate that. So that will be called as system level, subsystem level integration or SOC level integration. Same way, when this CPU will be done, this video will be done, this camera will be done, this audio will be done, this DDR will be done, this USB will be done, this PCI will be done. What all subsystem we will integrate at the SOC level? That will be called as SOC integration. These are the word. Remember that you will find in, in your job description as well. Whenever you are applying for any job or you are going for any interview, these things will be written there. So don't get confused with these words. Okay? But understand the concept behind that word. Now tell me. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Digest this thing. <laughs> these are many new words today. You guys have learned. All right. Yeah. Have you heard of these words earlier? Sir, in project we are yes. saying that uh, people are saying that you are handling this partition, this and this partition, this name partition. So that has the partition level and all these are integrated in the subsystem. Hmm. Correct, na? 
Yes, I'm correct. right on that. Correct. correct, correct. So those partition will be integrated in subsystem, and then it will be going for the SOC level. SOC level. Yeah. Now coming to this synthesis flow. So now we know that from where this library comes, right? But what this library contains? This library. What is the meaning of library? Possible. Library means so oh, 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 all the information. Uh, contents in that. You guys have gone through right. training program. Don't tell me these answers. Tell me the good answer. Uh, general uh, in uh, general description of library is a collection of books. Uh, the same way, uh, collection of uh, uh, different files uh, is what we call a library. Means collection, collection of files. Uh, data. So uh, what all blocks that are design design thing uh, about the design optimization and the uh, timing constraints and power constraints. All these uh, data uh, combined together, we call it as a uh, library. Library for what they have defined these timing and these power numbers for the SOC, sir. Means for the for block the or for the chip. Block for the block or for the chip. In the library file, you are saying that for the block or for the chip, the power and the timing informations it will be present. Okay. Who's next? Who will answer me? Uh, like for all the cells, we will. Ah, uh, one second, Girish. Me, this who answered? Girish, I think. Girish, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead, Girish. Me, remember this, Girish. I will tell you what you said, and then remember we will go through the library. Okay, Girish. Ah, uh, like we will have all the cell definitions. Like, if I take an example of a NAND gate, ah, uh, what what kind of size it is, and what is the strength of it, ah, uh, what is the power timing. All kind of definitions are being defined in it. Yes. Oh. So that we have a collection of standard cells, power information, delay information. You may have the maximum capacity. One second, Lali. Capacity and transistor. Yeah, yeah. One second, Lali. Yes, Lali. Yeah, it has all the uh, standard cell information, power information, delay information. And uh, basically, it will map information of what uh, information of what drug is power information delay input output capacitor of and what mind of delay. what of what like Gris said it is for the block or the partition. I'm asking of what. Uh, G Tech cells. Okay, let me tell you carry on. Yes, sir. Think about it. Sir, it contains of uh, a cell, sir. Cell, correct. Every cell. Every cell. And sir, uh, yes, sir. And sir, uh, li 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 first it contains of who, who, which uh, technology we want. Maybe a sixteen nm or sixty five nm. In that mm. nanometer, it will be mentioned like max capacitance, mean capacitance, max transition, the rise rise time, fall time. And sir, d d d d d r b conditions. And sir, uh, mm. delays. And for li 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 test power, static li test power, that mm -hmm. that thing happens in in a, each and every cell. Each, each and every cell. Technology, yes. Sir. During yeah. that technology, that the delay will be correct. Yeah. Now, Giris, you got your answer. This is for the yes. cell standard cell. Rakesh, okay. you got the answer. This is not G tech. This is for the cell. Yeah. A standard cell. So never forget saying that of standard cell. Okay. So it even yeah. contains the layered information, right, sir? The layer. What, is, what information? So the layered information, the size, width, and all contains of uh, contains the layered information, right, sir? Not. Does it also in include in the library? No. Not in the yeah. library. So we will discuss that part as well. Yeah. Because uh, I heard someone saying about those things. Uh, uh, so. Not sure from where you have done it, uh, but uh, whenever we will have the designs, right? Open the. No, I said that. I said that now when someone was at my desk, I think they just mean he said about the width, height, and all about the cell. Width. Okay. Width height uh, actually mentioned in the left. No, no, no. I didn't mention about it. No, I, I said the definition. Oh, this okay. Fine, fine, fine. No, I stand on the definition. If you have got it, right? I will call it a vast like uh, what width and what it is. Then. Oh, it's okay. okay. Correct. I just want to wake you up, guys, in terms of what it contains, and then I will let you go through each and every part of the library. So don't worry for that, right? So now, 
sir, I have this one doubt, sir. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, sir, if we consider library, means there will be two of it, right? Sir, physical libraries and technology libraries. Means physical okay. libraries. Dot lib. Dot lib is always called as the lib file. Time, timing library. Timing library. Physical library will be called as lib file. Library yeah, lib file. Yeah. डॉट ले Now let's go ahead and understand it. So now what is it? So this library files. This is the library files. Understand? Ah, uh, whenever you must have heard of book library, right? Okay. Every one of you heard yes. of book library. Yes. What this book library contains? Stack of books. All the All books. All the books. And the tables of the book, right? Ah, uh, for ah uh, different classes. For different, uh, you know, engineering books, all other books, right? It will be there. Some semiconductor books, some communication, yeah. historical books. books, yeah, historical books. So many books will be there, right? Novels will be there. So many things will be there, right? Now, tell me. Similar way, this is also called as a library. That means what kind of library? This is standard cell library. Okay. So, whenever you will be asked that what is the timing library or the logical library, this is going to be a standard cell library. In a standard cell library, what happens? All the cells will be present. All the cells will be present, and with the different flavors. Like, if I have one maths book, mathematics book, in the library, you will see from class five, class six, seven, eight, or maybe one, two also, class eleven, twelve, engineering. First semester, second semester, all the mathematics books will be there, correct? Correct. Similar way here also for one particular cell, like if I am having inverter or buffer or AND gate or OR gate or flop or MUX or any cell, any standard cell, right? These digital logics having different flavors. Different flavors in terms of what? There it was the books had different flavor with respect to their classes. Class one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, twelve, and then engineering like that classes were there. Here we have with respect to time and power. An area will be mentioned here that is not characterizable element, but still it will be mentioned. Right now, later stages we have so many slides later that we will discuss about what this library contains. You know. Uh, what are the things it it is having? Everything we will discuss. So don't worry. Everything, what modeling it is contains, what kind of structure it is there. I have taken everything. So don't worry for that. Here first you understand what library is, and next time someone is asking you that what is the library, you should say that this is a standard cell library which contains all the library, all the cells information, cells information, what information, timing information, power information, right? Capacitance information, resistance informations. Clear? Clear, sir. Clear. Clear for everyone. Yes. So this library, it will help you. It will help you to understand. This library will help you to understand to get during the optimization what are the cells that you should take that will help you to achieve your power, performance, and area. right so this particular library having so many cells now as a design engineer during the implementation you need to take that particular cell which is helping you with respect to timing with respect to power this is clear clear this is clear so yes, sir initially tool will take now you have to decide right now understand You have this is the library now coming to STC. STC, what is STC? Anybody is having any idea? Actually, sir, STC contains the clock. Actually, basically, 
Means mm-hmm. gate clock, uh, we have to keep that in duty, in duty cycle. And uh, LTC contents are jit, uh, means latency on certainty. There are high time call time. Mm-hmm. And uh, sir, uh, uh, and uh, set load map. And uh, don't use uh, you, you, cell, don't touch cell. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. So we will discuss that. What are the things it contains? But so it's the timing information of this one. The timing information it contains design rule constraints and optimization constraints. Good. Design rule constraints will be containing this uh, capacitance, maximum capacitance, uh, transitions and fan out. Mm-hmm. Some uh, clock uncertainties like jitter, skew and all. And when we come to optimization, it goes with the timing constraints like uh, exceptions, multi cycle path, delays and all. And even it contains some power and uh, system interface. Sure. Sure. Anyone else if we want to add anything else? Yes. Scan chain information. Uh, no scan chain information, but the scan chain timing it will be there, the requirements it will be there. The scan fl- uh, yes. clock will be defined there. Yes, in clock timing Yes, in clock group, sir. One by one. One by one. Uh, you guys are overriding each other. Uh, okay, I will finish it. Uh, and it, even it contains non timing uh, uh, also, like uh, uh, wire load model and other things. Correct, correct. So, yes, I will, we will discuss that. How come, what are the things it, it is having? Okay. Anyone else? A synchronous group, which is a synchronous group, is there. Okay. Seriously, you want to add something? Uh, like it has some uh, basic settings of the clock definition, ports, how we will be defining the clock period, uh, clock naming things, the transition time period. Uh, those are the main constraints which we can able to control in our design. Right. So basically, the all these Yeah. So everyone is good. I mean, I uh, similar answer I was expecting. So. SDC contains all the information related to your design constraint with respect to timing, power, right? and how the modeling will happen, everything it will be there. Right? So now, from where this information is coming? The people who started this specification, right? they must have written some frequency target. Right? From there, this RTL guy coming to here, here, someone has written here the constraint, some parallel team has written the constraint. So you might have seen some domain that people are calling you for the interview is the that we are looking for someone who can write constraint constraint for the synthesis. Right? So that is another domain there. So that SDC we are getting from there. People are writing, they are part of timing team only most of the time, and they are writing the constraint. That what kind of clock will be there. What is the different structure of that particular clock? How the transition? How the um, uncertainty? How the skew? What is the target of the skew? It will be there. Uh, what are the input output? The virtual clocks will be defined. So those virtual delays are how it is defined. Max delay, min delay is defined. So many things are there. Right? Load is there. Output is there. Fan out is there. The DRVs will be there. Right? There are so many things that it will be defined. Now, this is the SDC. Now UPF. UPF is another part. Now again, let's go have some discussion. What is UPF? If sir, my vision is multi, multi right. token, then we can yes sir, then we can use UPF file and UPF file contains specifically level shifter, isolation cell, re return of register and power switches like that. And multi token means multi PDD. Multi-based like the content. Sir, if there is uh, the multi-voltage design, then it contains the power domains and the port net names, retention cell information. <coughs> okay. Uh, from you must have seen like maybe you have seen or not. Uh, if you have seen like uh, you know twenty nanometer or below, when you were, sorry uh, above, when we had we had no UPF, right? Power was not that concerned. We were meeting the timing and then we were getting the designs corrected. Now also you will see that many designs does not need that much power, right? That power um, informations from where we can go and we can have this power, you know, 
uh, correlations and then we uh, go ahead with that. Now, coming to the what UPF contains is that we will discuss. But now let me tell you that UPF is a unified power format. Here we are targeting for some particular like you know design where we need to control depends on the requirement we have been given from the from the specification team that we have been given. So now what this UPF will be different voltages will be there in the design. Earlier what we used to have 1 volt, 1.2 volt or 1.5 volt like that it was there. Now if you will see 0 0.65, 0 0.85, 0 0.95, 1, 1 volt, 1.2 volt, 3, 4 voltages are defined in the your design for different different things. Understand why it has been done. Understand here. Like if you have one CPU, it needs the power of 1 volt. But some particular design it is there, some other subsystem like some camera is there or some other subsystem is there, it needs only 0.8 volt, right? So why do we need to spend another 0.2 volt here? We can save it from this, right? We have so many millions of canister here. If they will be taking 1 volt instead of 0.8 volt, then we, are, we will be losing so much of power here, right? So to avoid that, we need to create the power supply in a way that supply set that power information will help you in your design and it will help you to implement that particular design to save as much as power you can clear yes sir so now this contains just to give you the brief we will again discuss all this but just to give you a brief upf contains the starting of your supply all the supplies it will be defined like if it is one volt i told right one one point two volt one volt point eight five point six five point six zero like that if it is there right all the supplies will be defined now we have to create the supply set for this one we will create the supply set now once we will have the supply set then after what we are going to have but the supply set has been created. Now, what it will be, what we will, we are going to have here, we have different power domains. Power domains means when some particular module will be defined with respect to that particular power. Like I want this particular module in the design to be executed at one volt. Some particular domain, some particular area, 0 0.65, 0 0.65 volt, right? Like that we have to define, one power domain we will define and whenever we want to make it switch it on, switch it off, like do you think the camera will be on every time in your, on your phone? Is it on every time on your phone, the camera? No. no. What if it will be on every time? The battery will be... That will be drained out, right? Battery will be so now, now what we do? We are sending the signal through the phone that whenever we are on the camera, this camera is there, right? Here we are just clicking on this camera, then the camera will pop up. Then this is the enable signal we are sending it to the system, the SOC, that hey, I am sending you the signal, switch on my camera, right? So then, till the time this was, till the time it was off. This was not taking a single power here, other than leakage power. That also we will discuss. It was not taking. So you are able to save so much of power here, right? Now similar way, if your if your phone is unattended, you are not you are not on the screen, right? Then all your power, most of the devices, many things which will be switched off, right? They are on off conditions. So similarly in your design. There are so many places where you don't need power every time. So for till the time you don't need, you switch it off. So that consumption of power will not be there. Right? Clear? For that particular reason, from here we are saving the power. And to help these domains, we need so many cells. There are so many cells that we are using at like power switch cells we are using. I will tell you during the float plan that what power switch cells, where we are using, from where we are starting, 
how we are doing, how much power it is going in one round, in another round, how much power it is going, what is the structure, how it is following, everything I will explain you during the flow plan. But now, power switch is there. That power switch, different other switch, retention switch is there. This also I will explain what is the meaning of this cell, why we are using, where we are using. Aeon cells will be there. Level shifter you have understand, right? Level shifter. Whenever we have 1 volt to 0.65 volt or 0.65 to 1 volt, we need some cell who can change the voltage, who can transfer the voltage, right? So that we need to understand. Everything we will understand during our UPF. And now, once this will be there, right? Isolation cells. I want this particular cells to be isolated. Isolated from the design. All the designs are switched on, but this area I want this to be switched off. I need this to be isolated. So those isolation cells will be there. You must have heard of isolation cell is made up of this AND gate or OR gate where one input will be tied to. If it is AND gate, it is tied to one and another if it is enable signal. So whenever we give the enable signal zero, it will come as zero only that means we are not giving any signal and whenever it comes as one that means we are giving the signal this enable will send the signal to this guy that hey now you need to wake it wake up we have to wake this system up right so we will send the signal that hey wake up now your time to get switched on right all these informations will be there in the power upf and from there we are getting all these informations and then all this power consumption we are actually controlling. Now clear on UPF? Yes sir. This is basic information. We will again discuss all the inputs uh, in a very brief how, what are the concepts I told, right? What are these things I said? These things in a details, what are the commands we use, everything we will be talking about. Okay? Yes sir. Okay. UPF. Now, another point is the lift file. So, till here, whatever the lead RTL, lead STC, UPF, anybody is having any doubt in this one. So, this is how the UPF has been defined. And no, sir. UPF, yes, sir. Go ahead. Sir, actually, there is a doubt. So, let's suppose we have multiple cells and they are working on different power domains, right? Mm -hmm. And UPF is having the uh, definition of that different power domains which we have in our design. Mm -hmm. So, uh, means how do we map these cells to that particular power domains? Which cell? Standard cell you are talking about? No, no. Whatever the components which we are using in our design. Mm -hmm. So, let's suppose we are having a, a component A and a component B. One is working on 1.2 volt and another is working on 5 volt. That is a part of the design. Okay. okay. Domain. That is called as domain, power domain. Okay. Power domain. And this, this domain definition is defined in that UPS. Correct. So, uh, how this mapping is means happening? We just define the means. Ah, good one, good one, good good thought. So now you are thinking. Okay. So what happens is here. Uh, should I erase this entire? Board? Yeah. So what happens is here. This is very good. Right. This is the one partition you have, or the one block you have. This is one another block you have. Okay. This is power domain. This is having the power domain. And this another block, whatever this is, by default it is running. Right. Now what happens? <coughs> this power domain, we are making it switch it off, right? For some particular time. Some enable signal is here, and from where this enable signal, this is tied to one. This is connected to VDD. And this is enabled, okay. And this is going to some input for this one. Now, when what is your question is when we are coming and we are having signal here, how how these cells, whatever the cells it is present here, the components will get to know that this is the power consumption you are going to have, and how this will say that. Uh, hey, for this one, this is 1 volt, just imagine, now this is 0.65 volt. So, how this standard cell will understand that this is getting a 0.65 and this is getting 1 volt? Anybody is having any answer? This was your question, Saro? 
Yeah, sir. Anybody is having answer for this one. Actually, there is a power in which calculates these things, and they will give the information to us, right? Yes, they will give us the information. So they are giving an information that this area is going to have this point six five. But physically, what we do that gives us this is standard cell known knows that hey, you are using this much of power only. This is standard cells will tell that hey, you are using one volt of power only. From what implementation, what we do? Think, think. It will be from uh, an addition. Uh, netlist. Okay, we will discuss that. Netlist or is not any power information. Netlist always contains your logical information, your functionality. Yeah, but they will analyze the netlist and design the power based upon that, right? They are so, analyzing it. They are not keeping in the. They are also their input is netlist. Taking the netlist, netlist analyzing it and giving it back, saying that these are the units having this much power. They are not writing in the netlist. They are, no, no, they are not writing in the netlist, but they are defining the powers which uh, they are analyzing and estimating the powers, right, sir? Correct. So, the solid question is how they are defining it. What are the things it is coming that for this domain it will say that this is point six five, for this domain it will say that one four. Good thing, think, think. You will based upon the drive strength uh, uh, thing and sound. So sir, basically we are. Mm. So basically we have divided our complete design according to power domains, and that okay. uh, means uh, which cell are kept in that particular power do domains. We are just keeping it there only. That see that part is coming through the UPF. In UPF, that hierarchy will be defined. That in particular power domain, this hierarchy is sitting in this particular power domain. Whenever we are doing the create power domain, right? With create power domain command, we will discuss that there it has been defined in particular instances. Instance group it will be there, so that hierarchy will be there. So that whenever we are creating this power domain physically, this hierarchy will go and sit inside this one only. It will not go outside. We are we are creating the hard constraint constraint for this particular hierarchy, right? If that is the question, then this is the answer. But While implementation, how these standard cells will be, what we do as a physical design engineer, that these standard cells will get the power, and they understand that this is the power they are getting. It. Estimation power team are doing. This is correct. This is correct. No doubt in that. But how we? What are the things? What we are? Sir, uh, I I I try to explain, sir, because. Uh, The thing is, uh, once the uh, low power IC people, once the team gets the netlist, they will analyze it. So once it is partitioned, also, uh, for example, for a block, they will uh, go with the flow. So they will estimate which are the cells that are going to be active for uh, over for how many duration. Because based upon the estimation, they will calculate the power drawn uh, drawn by them, and then there happens this uh, gating things, power gating, flow gating, and all. So some uh, during that stage, some of the uh, cells and some of the uh, things will be turned off. So based upon this, they will calculate the power. Uh, they will calculate the power budgeting for that complete block. So yes, that is how it is going to run. Uh, Correct. Uh, same way, someone has told that uh, that this analysis happens. Similar thing, right? I'm asking, like what Saurav is asking that. The standard cells, how they are getting that? What implementation we do at what stage that is telling that this standard cell will get point six five volt only? Think that it is in the floor plan stage. Okay, now again think, sir. Uh, actually, when we do the floor plan, uh -huh. so I think that that time we also do the power planning, right? Yes. And uh, maybe yeah, we right. just we just keep those cell, and the the floor plan thing which we do is according to the power itself. So correct. This is the answer. PZ power rails whenever we implement right here, this power rail will consume only point six five. From here, the standard cells are getting the power, right? And from there, they will get to know that this is the power consumption which is happening for this particular cell. This hierarchy is saying that this hierarchy is saying that this these are the create power cell, and in that 
this is the uh, particular voltage it should get it. But why implementation? PZ power planning that will tell you which wow standard cells will get the power. Sir, uh, implementation. Yes, go ahead. Sir, does that include this uh, uh, IR drop also in that? Like uh, to let's uh, see. IR drop. We will discuss that. What is IR drop? IR that is a how it happens. That power drop happens. Power means what is VI, right? VI, V equals I, right? So it's a I square R. So we will discuss all these things. Don't go there right now. So we will discuss IR also. That how the drops are happening. But no, no, no. Yeah. my question was, uh, uh, as you said that the cell will have this much of uh, uh, based upon the power planning or the whatever. So if they are well calculating that, that includes this uh, IR drop also because uh, for a block yeah. once we are planning, we will get IR drop of some uh, uh, numbers. So yes, that IR drop to be contributed for this also while calculating the cell uh, power consumption. This is the calculation analysis. You said you guys said that. What analysis they are give, doing it here, right? So everything they do, but once we will have the standard cell placement here, then how much is the power consumption here for us? That will give you the real picture for the IR drop. So IR drop, whenever they do, they do at a SOC level. But for as a partition owner, whenever your CTS is done and your you are started getting the clock, right? After that, you can go ahead and check the IR. Right. Okay. That is a different story that we will discuss. But here the question was how this standard cell was getting this power. Whenever we discuss any time power, keep in your mind that these stripes, these power PZ rails, through this only standard cells are getting power. There is no other way. Okay. See, understand in your uh, in your town. Anywhere, like in Bangalore only, if you will see, Viscom is there. Viscom is having some unit somewhere. They have this unit. This is the entire area that they are executing it. Understand this part. Everywhere, how distribution. You must have seen the power distribution strategy, power distribution methods. You guys have seen that, right? So that is the power distribution strategy or the method in the DLSI. This is the one. Now. Whenever we have this, this com is there, it is giving to some area, some wiring happens, right? Right? And through that wiring, it is going to this line. It will go to this line. It will go to this line and this line. Whatever the houses are there, in between, all houses will be getting power from this side or this side, this side, like that, right? Similar way, understand, this is a standard set. Not your house standard cell, right? And with that a standard cell will be getting power from this side or this side, this side, this side like that. Now it is clear. So that distribution should happen. If that distribution is not happening, how you will get electricity in your house? Similar way, how this standard cell guys will get that uh, power here? How they will execute it? Here, this was just yes. a basic thing that yes. we discussed. Yes. Yeah, we will discuss more about it. Till then, I just open your eye about the UPF. Keep your questions ready. We will discuss whatever the questions it is coming. Note it down. We will discuss whenever the topic will come. Now, second thing is lift. Lift we have already discussed that what lift is. The layout person from the custom design they are giving us a standard cell lift, and the that will be called as macro lift. The tick lift is the lift where we have the technology lift. Technology lift where what we we have in the technology lift we are going to have that all the informations regarding the what is the metal layers that we are going to use, what are the EI informations, what is the resistance, capacitance, everything that we discuss. What is the length, width of the standard cell of this? Uh, what is the width of different metals? Right, everything we will discuss. Now next is diff file. Diff file is anybody want to explain the diff file? There are uh, so many diff files. We have floor plan diff, power plan diff, placement diff, and the CTS diff, routing diff. Uh, when CTS mentioned that, I have always once we 
uh, once we have completed any one step, then we can create the uh, database and send to another step. Yes. And sir, if we want uh, a physical synthesis, then sir, we want uh, one depth, right? Means per plant depth. So we have uh, uh, to complete per plant test, then we get, then we uh, 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 extract the database, then we send to the synthesis test. Yeah. So uh, now I will tell you the diff file anyone wants to add anything? The diff basically contains the details about whatever we are modifying from one step. So after floor plan, we have this uh, uh, floor plan depth where it contains the information of where the cells have been placed, means where the macros have been placed, how they are arranged, been placed, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Correct. After uh, floor plan, the same way goes with the uh, next stage, so after placement Correct. and after Correct. Placement. Correct. Good one. So what happens here? Diff file is the design instance format. Design instance format, what does it mean? It is exchanging the design between one stage to another stage. The diff design exchange format, exchanging the designs from one stage to another stage. Like the Giri said uh, that uh, if we are having, we are doing the physical design, physical implement, uh, sorry, physical synthesis. From there, if we want to take that physical synthesis input to the final or the floor plan, you said right, the floor plan one, all the physical cells. All the macro information, port information, everything we want to take to the some other stages like placement or something that we can do it, right? Similar way, something we should have exchange format. Like if you if you are ordering something like again yesterday night I have also I have given the same example. If you are ordering food from Zomato or Swiggy or anywhere, right? If you are ordering or, or like you are ordering from the Domino's, so when the Pizza will come, pizza will come, how it will come? It will come in a box, right? Right? When you are ordering some curry, curry in terms of like some good, I'm, I'm like, you know, some mutter paneer or something, right? Something you are ordering or, or something you are ordering or the rice you are ordering, right? It will come in a different box, right? So similar way, there is a format for everything. Imagine in a pizza box, if they will send you some curry, how it will look for you? You will like it? No, right? Similar way, similar way, in the design exchange format, we, in the art design, art cycle, I in real side, we should have, in physical design, we should have some format. In that particular format, we should receive or give some, you know, information to other stages or other teams. That is called as design exchange format. That is called as diff file, right? And that particular diff file will tell you that this your design exchange format contains these are the things. And now you go ahead and you know implement according to your. The way you want, like which for which stage you want. Like I have given the floor plan diff, then that particular guy will go, and that particular guy will take this all the floor plan information, and he can or she can start the physical synthesis, or he or she can start the placement. Clear? So similar way, it is a design exchange format which contains all the design information. Likewise, if I'm have I'm doing a design exchange format at at floor plan stage, then all the components for the floor plan. What are the components of the floor plan? Majorly, ports will be there, macros will be there, right? Macros will be there, macros will be there. Don't mind all these, but macros will be there. We have this switch cell will be there, right? Digi chain. We have tab columns. Tab cells will be there in the columns, right? We have boundary cap at the boundaries, right? Right? Likewise, like this, it will be there, right? These cells, it, or like we have isolations in between, uh, we have power domain, this information, it will be there. If we have isolation, it will be there. If we have level separate, it will be there. Retentions, other cells are there, right? Those cells are there, then it will be there. Now, if I will diff out, then each and every information from here, here it will be written in dot .diff file. Each and every information. Port placement will be there. This will be there. This will be there. This will be this. All these. And now, whenever we are taking that, we can 
Now go ahead with the physical synthesis which has all these informations. We can go with the placement, whatever the information it is there, right? So whenever people ask, don't just say that it is like you know this stage is there or that stage. Just give an example that okay from the floor plan if we are taking def is a design exchange format where the exchanging of information design information happens. Now it depends which stage you are having the def. If it is a flow plan def, this means these informations are present in this diff file. Now, if I will tell you this I this is the place DB and all the standard cells are placed also along with all these flow plan objects. Now I am doing the diff out. So those standard cell informations and their coordinates will be present here. I am asking. Yes, it will be present here. Sir, can you re re repeat that? So, floor plan def we have already def out, right? Now I have a standard cell placed. I have placed the standard cells. All the standard cells logics have been placed here in your design. I am taking out the def. Okay. Right? Whether this def contains this is standard cell also or not? No, sir, no standard. I am doing it after placement, all the standard cells yes. are placed. Now I am taking out the diff file. So in this diff file, this standard cells will be present or not. How many of you agree it is present? How many of you agree it is not present? Sir, actually standard cells standard cells are placed, but they are not uh, particular location. Who we can find? But the standard cells are placed in that. I am asking whether it will be present in your diff file or not. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, standard cell placement location uh, might differ, but it, yes, it will be present in the diff. Differ from what? Yes. Uh, in the when the during the legalization, in the the standard yeah. cell uh, rearrangement yeah. might happen. But I have not said about that illegal. I have said that all stages of placement happens here. All stages of placement happens here. The coordinate has been fixed now. Uh, this is where this optimization happens, everything happens, placement stage is done. I'm taking out this def file. Def file. Whether this is standard cell information, their location, their orientation, everything will be present or not. That's what I'm asking my question. Okay, but anyone else? Yes, sir, it is present. It is present. Seriously? It is present. We are exporting file. Yes. Again. So that is what my concept was. I was telling you guys right, that whatever the information it will be there, right? That will be present in the diff file. And now tell me if it is at CTS stage, I have my clock structure is defined. All the clock cells are present now. All the clock buffer inverter, everything is present in that design. Now I am taking out the diff file. Now I am taking out the diff. Now tell me, all these clock informations will be present or not? Yes, sir. Present, right? Now, one more question on the diff file. Tell me, from, I have this CTS done DB. CTS is done, clock structure is done. But now, I want only the macros, these macros. These are the macros, right? These macros to default. Default in a design. Default. I have to pass this information to some other team, maybe associate team or somewhere. Can we do that? Is yeah. there any possibility? Yes, yeah, we can do that. Yes. We can do that, yes. right? So we can yes. select these particular cells, right? We can select these particular cells and we can make them default. Default is a command or maybe a write diff. Is there also a command or different different tools, different different commands? What we can do. So def is not only that if you are defing out, you have you will be having the entire information. If you are bluntly defing, I'm just defing out. I'm not mentioning that I'm defing out, you know, I'm excluding these elements, I'm including these elements, then def will be having everything. But if I'm maintaining that thing, if I'm including that, this cell. Mac only macro cells I want here, right? Then only macro will be coming here. No other cells you will be getting. Note it down these things whenever you will be having the practical classes. Let's see there how it is coming. 
ओके यस सर यस सर क्लियर सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मोर डिटेल इन द इनपुट लाइक व्हाट आर द थिंग्स इट कंटेंस व्हाट आर द थिंग्स इट इज अवेलेबल एवरीथिंग वी विल डिस्कस नाउ आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव रीड इनपुट्स इलैबोरेट सो दिस वी विल डिस्कस आफ्टर मे बी 12:30 राइट सो फ्रॉम 2 वी विल कम बैक हैव लंच गेट फ्रेश अप and then from 2 to 5 continuous we will have you know two classes i will take in between i will give you a gap of 5 10 minutes in between also around uh, 3 30 around but uh, this we will discuss and then we will discuss on what kind of synthesis is there what are the different tools it uses industry uses what are the different engines they use how they execute is in logical synthesis physical synthesis then different inputs in a detailed way we will discuss Okay, so there are so many things it is there. 